After the end of the Arab-Israel War, aerial surveys spot a huge circular stone pattern on the ground. Prior to its discovery, no written record exists of this mysterious structure. Experts put forward a number of theories. This looks to me a kind of ceremonial feature. Did it have also practical functions, such as defensive, uh, a tower of some sort? I don't see this as being a fortress. I see it as being sacred space. What is really surprising is the perfection of these circles. The outer stone wall stretches 508 feet across, the size of the LA Dodgers stadium. Experts are baffled as to who built the stone circles and why. This is not primitive people just saying, let's build something roughly that shape. They've measured it out carefully, and then they've built it using gigantic stones. That would have been a major undertaking. Yonatan Mizrachi has spent three years excavating the mysterious ruins. The layout of the site makes Mizrachi suspect the mysterious ancient builders could have used this as an elaborate burial place. Looking around us, you can see here the actual entrance to the chamber tomb. And from this opening, we can get into the tomb. But if this was a tomb, where are all the bodies? Looking again at the circular layout, some archaeologists disagree with the burial theory. Instead, they see similarities with other ancient structures, ones that could track the passing of time. The northeast gate is due to the summer solstice. There are two major stones on the eastern part of the site, which are marking the days of the equinox. So we are forced to conclude that there are relationship between the way this site was constructed and astronomical bodies that were important to those people. Mizrachi has discovered that the size of the stones and the way they are cut is different between the outer walls and the central mound. This suggests they come from different times. This could explain the two conflicting theories for the site's purpose. The earlier phase, an early Bronze Age, was used as a ceremonial center and as a calendar. And then 1500 BC, there were other people, nomads, that came here, built a burial tomb. So two distinct phases, two different stories, two different cultures. 